In Karma's a Bitch News. Oh, yeah. Submitted by Mother Nature. Mother Nature. A politician who opposes mandatory chickenpox vaccinations got chickenpox. That means he never got chickenpox. Never even what the fuck. Never vaccinated. That's hilarious. Out of his whole life, he had a chance to get chicken pox, and it had to be when he was in the public <laughs> eye. Being like, you shouldn't get vaccinated. Yeah, for and then he gets it right after in his face. I feel like everyone should just get chicken pox, like well, there, early. There's some controversy about that because some people just do that. They, if a kid gets chicken pox, then they take their kids and they yeah. have a chicken pox party. Yeah. But isn't that. I just, I'm just bitter because I had to go through it and it was itchy as fuck and I already had eczema so it was like itchy on itchy. Well, and they say like if you get it when you're a kid, it's better than when you're an adult. Like it's not as mm. painful. Yeah, yeah, because when it's, when it's an adult, it's another thing, right? It's called... Um, shingle, shingles. Shingles. Mm. But they say that if you had chicken pox as a kid, you could get shingles. You could still get yeah. shingles. I play good shingles. God damn it. The diseases, they gotta make up their mind, man. Mm. What do you want to do? Shingles are supposed to be really fucking painful. Yeah. And then chicken pox as an adult can be deadly. Yeah. What did you have? You had psoriasis? I thought I had psoriasis. What, what was that? Have? So the first doc that I went to said I had psoriasis, but it turned out to be... Shingles? Uh, no, 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 no. It Neither. was... Oh, it was fucking bed bugs. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Allergic reaction to bed bugs? No, it was just... I got fucking bit up. So, over, so the So yeah, what happens... Yeah, so psoriasis, like bed if you have psoriasis, hurt. like I guess like a very... A uh, common place where it starts is actually at the middle of your stomach here, and this is where I got bit the fuck up. So uh, it looked like psoriasis, and then there was more popping up, but it was just from the bed bug. How'd you Dude. figure out your doctor was wrong? Huh? How'd you figure out your doctor was wrong? I just got another. Because he has two teeth here and <laughs> overalls. <laughs> no, well, from when I had it, so um, one of Mariel's uh, friends has psoriasis, and she said to me it didn't look like it, mm. and so I got a little skeptic. So, and I've been going to the hospital more frequently. Uh, just because why not? I'm a little older, so I've just been a little more careful with it. But I also learned that you should get a second opinion on stuff. Mm. So I got a second opinion, and the person was like, that's not psoriasis. They're like, mm. that's something else. It might be, be Just wait for it to chill out. And if it starts growing more, then it's psoriasis. If it's not, then it's something else. And it turned out to be bed bugs. How'd you fix that problem? Bed bugs? Burn yeah. all your furniture? Just, you just gotta wait. You gotta put fucking creams and shit. And well, what about, like, but your, what about your furniture and stuff? Oh, I had to fucking clean everything out. Bed yeah. bugs are yeah. Did you burn or, or not yeah. burn, but like throw away your sheets? I threw away all the sheets, I threw everything yeah, else away. I heard you have to basically get rid of everything. Yeah. I'd rather get bit by a hundred mosquitoes than like a lot of bed bugs. Wow. wow. Like bed bug bites hurt way more than mosquito and bites. I, and I found the yeah. bed bug too, it was just one. <gasps> It was one. Yeah, by the time you see one, that means there's thousands. Really? I don't know. Yeah. I saw one and I fucking just did that fucking What'd you do everything. with your mattress? It's still good, like, I think. What? Like, how did you clean that? Yeah. Whatever that shit is, I know there was like a spray I bought on Amazon and shit and I did all that stuff. But they said that if you, I forgot where I was reading it, but um, if you catch it early or something like that, because it was just one day and then it was like a couple days or something like that. So I remember I found out, then I went camping and then I came back. And then I went to get my shit checked at the doctors and he goes, that's not psoriasis. I got bit up by some bag bugs in Texas at University Austin and then one stowed away on my suitcase yeah. and still crawled and every day I was getting like different bed bug bites and I was like fuck and one day I found that fucker, killed him and then that was it. Oh, so it was just one guy? It was one. Yeah. But the pain from a bed bug, it's like imagine you get the itchiness of a mosquito but there's like yeah where the bite is, it's like a real sharp pain. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and then also on top of that, I forgot what I had. I was having like an allergic reaction to something. So where the bed bug bit me, I was also, it was also inflamed because my skin was inflamed from some kind of allergic reaction. Oh, to cocoa butter. So that's why you couldn't see the actual bug bite. Oh. Yeah. You're allergic to cocoa butter? Dang. Is that how you found out you were allergic to cocoa Whatever, butter? Whatever's in Palmer's, if it's yeah. just cocoa butter or something else in there, I can't use Palmer's yeah. cocoa butter. Because I was using that because because of the loose skin that I was getting from uh, losing weight. Or trying to tighten it up. Yeah, which it does work. So I used something else and it tightened it up, but then like it was it just up. as I was losing, I was putting it on, but I found out that whatever's in Palmer's cocoa butter, I have, I, I'm allergic to. Huh. So. Do you still use Palmer's? No. Every time you put it on, it smells like a chocolate dessert. I, I love know. the smell of that. He hates it. What? I, don't, I want her to be sexy. I don't want her to smell like a chocolate cake. You want her to smell like more fruitier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. Mariel loves the Palmer shit too, so she uses it. Oh, I love that shit. Do you want me to smell sexy or feel sexy? Both. Yeah, Palmer's Both. is fucking the shit. Let's go with, uh... Let's go with, uh... Smell... What I, fine. 
Have right. you ever tried hemp's lotion? No. I switched to that, like I used to use Palmer's all the time. I switched to that, I don't know if it does the same thing as stretch marks, but it made my skin the same amount of softness. Mm -hmm. And it's made out of hemp oil or something, and it's been around for a long time, but it's like this really good lotion. Oh, and it doesn't that. smell like a chocolate cake, it smells like a, like a sweet plant. What about mango yeah. shea butter? That one's pretty good too. What about that? I don't know, I'm gonna use what I wanna use. All right, there it is, conversation done, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> now I have different ones because I know he's a picky guy. But your skin's <laughs> soft all the time. Your skin's what? soft what? all the time. <laughs> You're like picky guy. <laughs> <laughs> so picky, mm. You know, I gotta give him what he wants sometimes. Aw. Yeah, cute. so this story is about this Italian politician dude. Oh, the story! Yeah, we talked about it. No, we didn't. Giovanni Gelaca. <laughs> <Jalak. laughs> His name is Massimiliano Fer Federica. Federica. Marcialano Melecalica. <laughs> Palekico, look at the cheetah. Yeah. <laughs> look at the cheetah. <laughs> look at the cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> look at the cheetah. Pellegrino <laughs> Parmachana. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Italian so funny? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he was leading an anti-vaccination legislation. <laughs> That's so, so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody needs a chicken to fuck, sir. Look at the cheetah. Look at it. It'd be funny if he just got all 20 diseases at once. <laughs> and then he's all like, oh, I make a big mistake. Eh? No. <laughs> You're not far, it was 10 diseases. So, whoa, 10? Oh, hold on. Hold oh, on. Where did he you did you? not get 10. Oh. This, you just said wait, was that a joke? I'm trying to. So this legislation that he was opposing, it was to make vaccination for ten diseases oh. mandatory for all children going to school, unless or else they won't be allowed to That's attend. Should, yeah. So he was saying that he didn't like that. He didn't like how you have to force. Children to healthy. get vaccinated. Oh, I want people to be forced before they travel, enter a big fucking yeah. thing, a hospital, the military. We don't want people to fucking get mixed up with all that shit. Is he a conspiracy theorist? Well, no. So he the, the said, fucking Illuminati is coming in. So he claims that he isn't anti vax oh, because he, he had his own children vaccinated. So he's a hypocrite. He just, hypocrite. Huh? <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Well, okay. I guess. So that's what this because thing it's is. endangering other people's lives. Yeah, so that's why I know. Because that kind of makes sense in a school setting or a hospital or anything else yeah, this where it's would like, be yeah. A school setting, but he was against forcing people. Like, is he against forcing people not to carry bombs on planes? You know? Yeah. It's like the same kind of shit. It's yeah. like you're endangering. They should a have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should be able to choose if they want their bomb on their plane with them. Yeah. Well, this? would it be? Would it be just the people that aren't vaccinated that are in danger? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And people with low immune, like uh, yeah. if you have an autoimmune uh, disease and you yep. can't get vaccinated. There's a lot you of people can't get that, vaccinated? There's a lot of people that can't get vaccinated. Oh, shit. And so then they're more susceptible to diseases and then if you are just a I person. Know you or if you're an adult like him and who's never had chicken pox, you know, one of your students, kids has it, whatever, I don't know. Yeah. And then he gets chicken pox. And he gets the shingles. Yeah, he got chicken pox. That's and crazy. so he was in the hospital, but then he's like, oh, I'm at home now. Did he take back his position? <laughs> I fucked up. He's not anti, though. Oh. Yeah, so he's not anti. He's, he's just saying, he's saying he's like, freedom of yeah. choice. Yeah. yeah. And he's all, this was my choice. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's maybe I need a um, change of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think choice is cool. I'm Wait, for, I'm for choices. Yeah. I'm for choices. Polio's back because of that. It's back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like a lot of diseases Polio, that were measles. almost eradicated yeah. are back. Is it because of the anti-vaxxers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank God they're alive. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot for that, you fuck faces. Here's my conspiracy: the disease crawled into their brain, and then they're like, "We need to come back." Yeah, like a parasite. Yeah. It's like I found a host. <laughs> we need to come back, and then they're like, they control the mind of hippies, and they're like, "Yo, we don't need fucking." Vaccines for children, they got nature. It's like, yo, that guy was a CEO of a huge financial corporation yeah. two weeks ago. Yeah. Oh, they got him. <laughs> the disease got him. Yeah. You could not vaccinate your kids, just don't have them play around mine. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fucking little Sally Smallpox and Peter Polio. You hear about the all fuck those out kids here, that freaking died at the Disneyland? No. Because they contracted a something at the Disneyland and they were anti-vax kids. Yeah. Oh. And then they all die. Yeah. 
We vaxxed the fuck out of Tyka, dude. Oh, yeah, we look vaxed. how healthy he is, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Charlie Sheen's anti-vax. Well, doesn't he have like seven different forms of AIDS? Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow. Rob that Schneider. Yeah. Jenny McCarthy. That's because she Bill she Mayer. says her kid got autism from a vaccine. Yeah, that's yeah. not true. Alicia Silverstone and Andrew Wakefield, which I don't know who that is. But those are all well, the I people. mean, like, I don't take life advice from celebrities. They're just <laughs> yeah, great yeah. fucking actors, you know? Like, the fuck? <laughs> you know, like, that was the weird thing. Like, hi, I'm it Alicia Silverstone. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm gonna take advice. From a scientist. I don't care what Deuce Bigelow did. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Deuce Bigelow, Fuck cares, bro. Deuce Bigelow is an anti vaxxer I'm like, okay, that's I, awesome. Yeah. Cool or story, what, dude. Or what if they know some shit that we don't, like, because they're around the rich and powerful, yeah, yeah. and then they're getting some secrets that we don't know? And then all of them would be doing it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't know. No, these are just the people that are out. Maybe there's a lot more celebrities that just are like, don't yeah. tell the poor. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to vax the fuck out of my dogs too. Deworm the fuck out of them because they were drinking all kinds of shit water. Yeah. <laughs> we're like hiking. They're like. <laughs> I'm like, don't fucking drink that shit. I'm like, thank God they have their fucking worm medicine. Fucking parasites dying in them. Damn. Mm-hmm. But would imagine all the kids they get some fucked up parasites and oh. all kinds of nasty shit. I don't know.